In the last video, I covered filtering by administrative divisions and feature types. In this video, I'll cover two useful ways you can use a spatial filter. Although spatial filtering is complicated, it can also be a very powerful way to search. For our first search scenario, let's say that you know the location of a city, either from a map or textual description, but you're having problems finding it in the database. Let's also say our source describes the city as being located on the eastern coastline just north of the Amazon River Delta. First, I can add Brazil to my search and limit it to populated places. Next, I can use one of the drawing tools. I've found that the lasso tool is a bit easier to control than the other ones, but you can experiment and see what you like best. I'll use the lasso tool to highlight the area I wish to search. If you don't like what you've selected, you can click Clear and try again. My search returned 143 populated places, which is a bit large, but it may work as a last resort for a truly tricky search. In our second scenario, you may already have a set of coordinates from geonames.org or another source. If you click on the radial search tab under the spatial filter, you'll find that you have four options for searching by coordinates. The two you are most likely to use are DD, which stands for degree decimal, or DMS, which stands for degree minutes seconds. GNS provides examples of both formats in the search boxes to help you determine which format you have. Since most catalogers are more comfortable with degree minutes seconds format, and most applications provide coordinates in this format, this is the one I'll demonstrate. But I wanted to make you aware that degree decimal is an option if you happen to only have coordinates in that format. XDMS is the longitude or east and west coordinates, and YDMS is the latitude or north and south coordinates. GNS does not use letters to represent hemispheres. For longitude, a negative sign means west and no sign means east. For latitude, a negative sign means south and no sign means north. Since we know our city is located at the coordinates we found in geonames.org, we can shrink the buffer distance down to one mile and click Apply. If you've accidentally reversed your coordinates or forgotten a negative sign, the mistake is often fairly obvious as it is here, because clicking Apply will drop you in the wrong hemisphere and quite possibly in the middle of an ocean. So now I'll correct my mistake re-click Apply, and now we have a circle with a one-mile radius, and our entered coordinates are at the center. I'll make sure I have populated places selected, and click on Query and Display Data. This returns a list of the three populated places appearing inside the circle. We can click on the yellow dot at the middle, and choose a simple view to see the information for that feature. We can also select other dots or scroll through the results list if the center dot is not what we're looking for. Unfortunately, this approach will not show us heading conflicts, but we can now highlight the GNS approved name for a feature and cut and paste it into a new search. In the next video, I'll demonstrate how to perform a fuzzy search.